you'd like to learn more. Exactly. Very, very quickly here, right? Okay, okay. so you're going to, uh, so, we've rolled out the knish dough. Yeah, we rolled out the knish dough, and we're doing it on a cloth because it's uh, very breakable, so it's yeah. easier to roll out. There's mashed potatoes. Uh, we're putting some fried onions inside, and this is the stages you want to get it to. Okay. Uh, you want to caramelize them. And, and this uh, is regular mashed potatoes, salt and pepper? This is just regular mashed potatoes, salt and pepper, and egg. You know, you made one big knish. I thought we were going to be making a bunch of little knishes. Well, this, that's this the way a, I always have knish. Hey, that's the way a lot of people have done it. And uh, this is one I've learned when I was in Israel, because I worked in Israel for a year, and that's where I learned my kosher okay. cooking. Uh, and this dough, it's a lot it's a lot flakier and it's a lot tastier. And, um, I'm going to take your word for it. This I is like the, nice, uh, the big one that uh, Murat made for us before he got here. I particularly like the city TV <laughs> written right on top there. That was great. <laughs> so what you want to do is stretch it out on both sides, and okay. then you just want to close the little pocket oh. this way. Now, oh, I see. you can make them any shape. Uh, this particular one is a little one, but you can make them any shape. And what's great about them, you can put either vegetables in there or meats, anything you like, because right. you're steaming it, and in some ways, almost um, like a dim sum. Right. What kind of vegetables, though, would you put in there? Um, broccoli. Anything that's really? getting softer, faster over the steam. Yeah. Um, you can put asparagus, carrots, anything. You can do the mixture of vegetables, especially for vegetables. Is that traditional, or is this something that you It's something that I've, I've done develop right. myself yes because if you were going to eat this in Uzbekistan it would have to have the meat in it yes okay. it would it okay would. Then. but uh, this dish is very there's where you can find out more from Marat Fired Up Catering give him a call or you can check out their website firedupcatering.com well, you guys have lots of menus and things on your website yeah we do we got so a lot of samples and stuff so it's great you have food samples or just sample menus <laughs> sample menus you got to come to us for excellent food samples, okay of and you do any kind of event we do any kind of event from birthdays to corporate to intimate Okay. And uh, that's it. And then you then you roll it out like this. Okay, well, I'll put this in the oven, okay? Sure. I'll That'd be, be right back. Those look like my dreadlocks, by the way. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is the hard part, uh, Dennis. I need you back here. Okay. Otherwise, yeah, you're not going to get the challah ready for in time for the holidays. Okay, challah for the holidays. So, you can start from the right side challah or the left the side. Challah for the holidays, Martin. <laughs> <That's> challah <laughs> for the holidays. For the holidays. Sorry. Oh, got it. Okay. Uh, so, you can start from the right side or the left side. Okay. And basically, you start, you go under, over, under. Then you go under, <sighs> over, under. Oh my god. And then under, under over. over. That. <laughs> and that's it. Oh my gosh, look at you. And then all you want to do is, is just give it a bit of an egg, egg wash. wash. Wow. And that's it. And ready to go. And then you would let that sit for another half an hour. Yes. Once it's risen, then it's ready to go into the oven. Okay. And, oh, uh, you don't want to put this on here yet? Yeah, no, oh, you I do. do. Yeah, I do. Okay. We would we'd, we'd let it rise right here. Okay, very good. And, See, uh, Mark, look at that. And break. this is actually going to be about that big. All, All right. right. Oh, boy. We have created a little masterpiece here. Thanks to Marat. We've got two fabulous halas, yes? Mm -hmm. We've got the braided one. Yep. And the rounded one. Yeah, the traditional one and the one for, usually used for high holidays. For high holidays. And mm -hmm. we've got the uh, orange honey cake. cake. That's right. Excellent. Now, this was really actually fairly simple to make, yeah? Yeah, it's very simple.